What's up guys, it's me, Jesus Burger here, and welcome back to Pickle Peter Readings. We're gonna continue on Domo's, um, Domo's Mills, and we're heading into the Dweebo family now of Racknords. So let me begin the timer, and let's go. The perfectly polished crimson color looks to be a hand finished by a true master craftsman. His effects or eyes, his real color is actually made through the layer upon layer, very fine fibers being stacked together. Nature is the most skilled crafter. And our dweevil. We don't wake up every day fully as good as we want to. But the bright fruit color this little ch charmer sure makes me feel like I got my vitamins for today. You might be able to lose your stiff muscles to do those drive kit electric shocks too. Hydro dweevil. It's a wish to be told the way the scare skills around those long southern lapis lazuli le blue legs while carrying treasure of fat. If in excess of excitement, you reach your hand touch it and start to splash so, so dear you. You can all quiet around this BC. Or you treat like a fire hydrant, take off your shirt, and then play in it. I I'm not weird for that, am I? Nah, I don't know that. I just want to be evil. God, I wish I could have really sneeze right now. That'd be perfect. Chill! <laughs> It's always important to keep your cold cool, but I'm frustrated to just frozen dying. Maybe it's maybe a bit too cold. This one bone for this pure is a skin around its icy long legs. It's quite chilling indeed. Damn, Dweevil. This is another different color, Dweevil. Not all. You see, there's a fashion leader in the critical world. There are once purple one as well, but zero chin and colored green. Be sure to bring protective gear to see it through. This gear only squeeze can produce a toxic cast if threatened. Oh, so it's actually a. D is it different? Or did it actually change its color? I guess that's just either way of saying, yeah, we just rebranded it. Or this is something new. Ah, oh, no, Pikmin is weird. Pikmin is weird. Also, I gave up already on saying scientific names. Y'all y'all can try that yourselves. <clears throat> but that's interesting. Cool. Arachno. It has an agreeable personality, and as long as the meal doesn't get caught as a web. It'll sit there, curled up with a cuddly ball and waiting. You have to throw some food at it, at it or even use yourself as bait if you want to see it move. Or at least your method of hunting. Baldy long legs. If you if you lie down and look up while the hulking critter is walking over you, you'll be treated by a impressive view of this giant round body soaring past like an orbiting planet. Of course, you may get squished and flat by one of his massive feet and become a star yourself. Man legs. How do you feel that I embarrassed you three times when I blew up my only run? Having a man of living cells and metabolism, and the ability to produce offspring might be considered necessary traits to determine if something is truly alive. But this rapid fire can impose away conventional definitions. Is it a machine and a creature? What a fascinating possibility. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, man is just dead. It's it's literally just the course of of a beady long legs because you can see the skin and um Quartz guts inside of it when it opens up. That's cool. Anyways, groovy long legs. With mesmerizing lights that pierce through the darkness and a low groove that stirs your soul, how can you not get a dance on? Is it a creature or a machine? Who cares? Eric could drink this party. We're all out caution though. Be careful you don't dance right under one of his feet. And or the beetle. When this little darling around, the outer space's power problems are solved. These generate enough to electric light up the night and help people. Live comfortably on the most rangy, hot, or frigid cold planets. It'll cost a few them, but it's a minor detail. Everything that foot beetle. God, why did they have to take the Pikmin 3 design away from me? <laughs> why? Come on. It, it's still cute. I love it, but it's not as good as the Pikmin 3 one. This gun in your little one is good love talisman. You have to encounter it. it to, you have to encounter it. Is your foot. That was a weird zoom in the belief. If you're fortunate enough Okay, get thank you. If you're fortunate enough to come upon one, make a wish before it leaves. The way it's is it's really the cut crest may change color depending on the angle you view it from is so distracting that I often forget what to to wish for something. Do a bug. Whoa, that reeks. It reeks so bad. These uncalculated stinkers are always passing gas whenever they whenever and wherever. 
But that also means they're easy to track down. Of course, though we can stand and get closer to the to find one. But it's a real defense mechanism. AKA the devs wanted a fart bug or fight joke and now they got it. Iridescent Glint Beetle. The golden shrine is gleaming character piece is really really is gold. It's a little dark to collect gold from the soil. As you might expect, it's extremely rare to see one in person. I've never heard it, so I hope I have one appear before me someday. Um, hold on. Hello. I know I, I know I see like I'm assaulting you right now, but give me a minute, alright? No, wait. Yes, yes. Oh, hi. No way I can actually just do this forever, huh? Wait a minute. Game, you're not gonna let me just do this forever, are you? There's no way, right? Right? Did... Did spray make that sound? Oh, if I just cut two of these, are you gonna respawn again? Oh, I'm so curious now. Are you somewhere? Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, I'm so curious. Is there? Did they make a cat for this? I'm for some reason so curious. I'm curiosity is gonna get the best of me. Like, I'm so unnecessarily curious on, on this. Like, how does this work? Oh, I want to see something too. Does this work? Wait a minute. Jokopedia. You are in the corner. Over here. Maybe. Are you? I think you're actually still hidden. Is this the right spot? <laughs> I, I, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Rip. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, whatever. I tried to test it, but I failed. But I still succeeded. Midtights. The cheeky midnight lays eggs inside the eggs for of other creatures to provide this offspring with an easier first meal. When they come really squealing out, it's fun chilling, but you can't blame newly hatched your larva after after all, you might enjoy an egg or two yourself now and then. Skyachuck. Watching them move around the tips of tips of its tippy toes is like watching a ballet. If you're offering to dance as a pattern of the spiky spiky toe sweetie, it'll leap high in the sky. I bet this agile creature will have no trouble sticking to landing. That's, um, that's, that's not how it works, Domo. I am, uh, unfortunate to say. Skeeterscape. Queen water is this there for its water walkie sweetheart. And other than that, in the water, so, so, with, God, speak, damn it. Sorry with oils, the, the detergents, or other politicians, it could lose the surface tension and supports its speciality of all the feet and drown. This is an extraordinary creature that can only exist on such a water-rich planet. Muckerscape. This caution have I been calling it a mucker chuck this whole time? I think I have. This cautious creature moves into fits and starts when it does. The mighty local in its trans transparent orb swashes around. Splish splash sploosh. If you can absorb this unique tiny up close, I have no regrets, even with the spire mud. White specialites. In the same way, it stops in a petal when fitting around a garden and full of flowers and bloom. It will, it will light without hesitation on things like a sleeping bulb or a dashiest little daredevil. Yellow special lids. Are they fitting around all over the place? The little beasts of the special, little special can cause a tornado or ice of the world. Or some have said, why don't worry, it's how influence these little crammers have being, being on this planet right now. Probably going extinct. Because I'm a genocider. Red special lids. Furniture and have a lot of fun power in them. By building up many different layers, it gives the sparkler complexity and definitely full of full of power. Also, I'll just press the essence for the zestier effect. Snow fake flutter tail. Please don't call this a please don't call it a flying snowman. The sight of it flying around with its magnificent wings and scattering ice diamonds evokes, evokes thoughts of a snow spirit sprite. What is this beauty of nature and let it see away all your woes and anxiety? Creepy Chrysanthemum! What's up, Creepy Chrysanthemum show? Why don't we? 
We'll get a hand raised, raised fury of Santa Claus that have a conscious space of size, water, color. Things like that. They're half animals, so might be a category too. Of course, how could a dog even choose a winner? Uh, any specimen is so beautiful in its own way. So, fun fact. Uh, some of you may have noticed this, some of you might not. But, in Pikmin 2, the bad design chrysanthemum, the, um, the mouth is what stays. A.K.A. the thing that looks like a fruit that tries to eat your Pikmin. But now, and, you know, the body just dis disappears. But now, it's the body that stays and the flowers that actually disappear. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that's, that's all I want to say. Style Spore. You still just maybe to grow up with mushrooms for fun and of catching yours by surprise. They also use the opportunity to spread poison around quite as it's grooming legitimately. With that just this little target's I I just need method of tracking its prey. Kill okay, whatever the way na nature embraces such unique and varied creatures. The bread bug. It looks like your breakfast tail is long time stable. A loaf of bread with a purple color and a butter shine. Just just from looking at it, I swear the room of big and waste past my nose. But you've never seen your bread loafing around like this. You've been there for a while. You might catch them dragging things around with their mouths. They're heart merely adorable. Oh! Have they always had their own color number? Wait, has that been a thing that I've never noticed? Is this just. This has to be just exclusive to the Pimplepedia, right? I'm pretty sure they never had an actual color number. I think it's always been gray. Where are you taking this? Oh, you're taking this to the bush. I'm so cute. I love red bugs. I can't believe when I first played Pokemon 1, I called Breadbug ugly. Like, this is character development as finest. That I first called Breadbug ugly. Ugly. But now everything has changed. It's better. Still, God won't forgive me for it, though. Anyways, let me guess. Yup, giant bed bug. Who would cook golden bread and fluffy? It must, it must be a fresh baked golden bread. Oh, my say this is a wild, unique giant bread bug with a texture and vibrancy of only you creatures can possess. Let your eyes and gut deceive you. This learned muffin just might take offense if you mistake it for a love of fresh bread. Hi. Hello. Let him go. Let this dude go. You're so freaking big. I'm surprised Ochi is almost as big as you. Well, okay. Of course, not exactly almost, but still. Like, Ochi is the size, almost the size of this bread bug's face. Like, that's incredible. Do the charge. I want to see it. Do the charge. No, I want, I want to see you do your angry charge. The fact, the new move they add to this, which is honestly the scariest part of this bread bug. Actually, wait, I have, I think, just get your open. What's, what's wrong with me? Just do that. Do it. Do the charge. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Oh, no, he's coming. Look at him. Oh, my God. He have that look so much. That iron move just makes things better. I love it. So it's just like, why did they make it? They definitely... As much as an uh, upgrade he didn't get, he also got the best upgrade ever. Angry Charge. Kill the dog. Anyways. Get the man the weed. With one little gold colored stone on his back, his toe is about lantern flickering chiefly. It doesn't usually deceive Pikmin and our sensors. It just points to that gold colored stone. Only the dogs should do that intentionally this. this Deceptive in this world or any other. Gil Gildamender. I love this guy. No gold sparkles on his back. The orders of eye, this delight of a creature spending the top a mind boggling amount of time collecting those special gold stones. So it isn't real gold. It can confuse the sensors. That's another marvel in the natural natural world for you. 
miniature snoot whacker. The way it ch chases, catches its food, it protects its belly and gets a long working. With the weight of a sizable trunk, are all taught by its diligent parents. Instead of a hand and foot, there there are ten through the Australians to nose and foot. They prepare the child for the day, or leave the nest, and eventually become a parent itself. And of course, that brings us to Mav Snoopwacker. If you get close, it will whip its tongue, trunk. Uh, did I just say tongue? <laughs> trunk around and around, just brush it on the ground. It might. I didn't mean to run. It might be a chance for an exciting jump rope workout if you try to throw a bomb at it. It will use that suspicious trunk to shoot it right back at you. Those are some no skills that that could impress an an athlete. Science. Oh, hello. This interior little button has a perfect tex texture and coordination. So the pass an egg fries sunny side up on a master chef. There's nothing about it that makes them threatening. And it still looks so yummy. I can't help but think of a delicious breakfast when I see it. Bulix, hello. Hold on. Oh, let me, um... How do I... How do I commit... Um, uh... Commit the, um... Uh, oh, here we go. Wake up. There we go. If you take the microorganisms I use to peer through my microscope, such as a child, I blow them up. Uh, much, much bigger. This is what you get. A huge thing of cell sweetie. It more if we sloshes around and search for food. This giant worm microorganism. My, did I say microorganism? I think so. Downy Snagger. The size of this wee one boing, boinging around and packing and picking at his foot while skillfully balanced on his one leg gets truly on aspiring. If you get too close, it might feel vulnerable and give you a warning poke at its beak. Or it might just turn turn to you for comfort. Uh huh. Burn ring staggering. I hate this thing. Burn up. Inside of the sky, this scaly atomic flies around the ground. When it pops its head to the surface, the way its crown of feathers falls, fluffs, though, it should make it more intimidating. It's glad to be a hole, but the way you're learning to gaze up at it, as you like to get a poking in the lifetime from a long sharp beak. Wild Quaff. Birdo knockoff. Actually, no, it's Birdo but a duck. That makes any sense. But since it's a bottomless stomach and will slow down and everything, unfortunately, get it to up in its path. It will even consume things larger than its body while missing its step. The best part is goofy with a head, it looks just like a fuzzy cover board. Well, Domo, here's a fun fact. The reason why. Please put that out. The reason why, um, what did he just say? I completely lost it. Yeah, things get larger than its own body without missing a step. It's because that its body actually does grow bigger when it eats. Because it's very big right now. Hold on, I need it. Buttons. There we go. I think this is the only enemy that actually does this too. Like it actually changes size. Also, it gets lower. Also, you can't even tell through the way it looks in his eyes that it just like it can't take it all. I don't know when I just became the Pikmin gamer, but here I am. Anyways. Scorch cake. Um, you know what? Actually, we'll do scorch cake next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next time, more and more fun, actually. More fun. Domo's notes have been great. And I can't wait until I get to these two nerds where it just turns to something of chaotic of the past or stupidness. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.